Yes, is it, it's identified when in the beginning we see um, like it's in a sort of dark setting with like dark lighting and they're all sitting round in like in this big room and all wearing smart dark clothes. Down the string, Elbiolos, big shots. It's not personal. It's effective because um, the music is really low and it sounds ominous as well, which creates a sense of danger and, and also could foreshadow something bad happening to, you say, the main character. It suits the genre as well. You come into my house and you ask me to murder me. We ask you for justice. That is not justice. They want to get mixed up in the family business. You got to get them close like this. Bada bing, you blow their brains all over your nice side release suit. You give them one message, I want Salazar. Ah. Um, I like the trailer because they use a variety of shots that are effective in making an urgent real suspense. You come into my house and you ask me to murder me. We ask you for justice. That is not just. I never wanted this for you. I dislike the setting and the time it was set because it's because the type of scenes and shots they used to represent the setting is not really appealing to me. No. Why is that? Because of the previous reasons I stated, and I'm not really into old films, Gang old gangster films. Okay, yeah, um, in The Departed it is, because like... I could see like conventions like when they use like the guns or like explosions. When you're facing a loaded gun. And um, in the fonts as well, or the titles, like you could see themes surrounding the gangsters like loyalty and like distrust and betrayal and stuff like that. You better. Um, I felt like in the beginning half of the trailer, it was. When I was your age, they would say we could become cops or criminals. What I'm saying is this. When you're facing a loaded gun. But then at the middle half towards the end it it had a lighter tone even though what reflected in it was kind of more like crime or violence if that makes sense so like the music didn't really match what was showing on the trailer you will not ever know the identity of undercover people you have anyone in with costello presently there was a leak from um, I liked when um, the dialogue was being spoken like there was one scene where I think they were talking about like guns and stuff like that and then they showed it and with the um, police academy or something and then they showed my demon I, I think yeah um, in the March thing, I felt like if that was really cool, how it lined up with what they said. Facing a loaded gun. What's the difference? This is not the regular police. This is the state police. I don't think the font style in the titles matches the trailer at all. It's just, it's just that it's, it's really like the contrast in the trailer is like really. Almost like a higher filter, if that makes sense. But then it's just black and blue and white. 
get the feeling. Uh, no, not really. It doesn't seem like the type of gangster genre I'll probably watch because it's very. I don't know. I don't really understand what's happening and it just didn't draw me in. Uh, yeah, the gangster genre is clearly identified. Um, compared to the first one that I watched, The Departed, this is more um, like open with its violent scenes and stuff. It's not sugar-coated, like, it's obviously there. It concentrates more on like the gang lifestyle, from what I saw. Um, like, you can obviously see who is like the underdog and who's the head. Part of me looks like your blood. <laughs> Yeah, the music is effective because um, I think even in lyrics, they do refer to the title of the film, which is Adulthood, and I found that um, really nice. One thing that um, I found was when the first song ended, they did like a screeching effect, and then the the glass shattered, and then it was kind of like silence. And then the music started again. I think that was a different song, but I like the transition with the music choice. This is about me. It was very comic -y <laughs> in the sense of um, the freeze frames and it freezed and then you saw the actors' names pop up or the actresses. I just found that it was really like just disorientating and odd because, not odd, but it was a bit jarring because it was kind of like reality and then... I don't know, it just didn't really fit with the gangster effect. I like the use of slang <laughs> in the trailers. Um, oh yeah, and the thing that I like is that you can obviously tell the, the difference between the um, American trailer which is the departed and the british trailer because as soon as even with the filter I use it's like more realistic and gritty which gives the feel of the gangster genre that's what i really like yeah do you want something bro mind your business man do you know this mug is he bothering you hey blood don't touch me here yeah? what part of me looks like your blood <laughs> No, <laughs> I, maybe it's just because I just don't necessarily watch like British gangster films in general. If anything, I'll probably side along with um, the Americanized version of gangster movies because it seems more like they glorify the gangster genre better, if that makes sense. They make it like more special or just more fun compared to the British because they just, the British make it look like more gritty and realistic and the true sense of it. So because I just like fantasy more, I'll probably go for the American.